So it's a uh, Monday and we are going to head over to see Captain America Civil War in 3D. How excited are you? I'm excited. I'm exponentially excited because I am the superhero person and Margie, you're going along for fun. It's our anniversary and we have a gift card, so. And I will say that we're having to get creative because sometimes as a foster carer or adoptive parent, you have behaviors and different things where you can't just get up and go and leave your kiddos alone at home like other parents might do. So, or even with a babysitter, because there's just, yeah. Babysitters aren't ready for all of the behaviors and issues to keep everyone safe, and sometimes they get scared off. So, sometimes you have to get creative because self care is important, and you gotta get some stuff, do some things that you wanna do, and not lose who you are and blow some steam off. So, we are, since we work from home, we're going to use this opportunity of the kids still being in school to use this as a time to go watch a movie. So I feel like we're kind of playing hooky, but it's really okay because we need to take care of ourselves, right? Right. And uh, we've been married. It'll be 15 years on Thursday. 15 years. Deserves celebration with Civil War. And we're going to... What? What's the part that you wanted to do that we're going to do some other time probably? Um, we got to gift thing to the melting pot which is a fondue restaurant which I've never been to one and I think it'd be really cool so we're gonna go to the melting pot which is a fondue restaurant later this week while the kids are in school hopefully <laughs> probably not gonna happen today because we're already playing hooky or is it there's no way we'll be able to fit it both in okay so we're gonna be <laughs> playing hooky twice but they're short hooky times so it's not that bad so it'll be fun so cheers we'll see you later coupons we're going to use to go in and Margie's excited. Yeah. So we're waiting to buy tickets. There's like no one here. There's like this is as big as the line is and there is like no one behind us. And the parking lot's pretty empty too. So we're leaving because these little cards that we got, got that are $20 toward tickets. They're only good for Civil War. And we thought we could just, we were under the impression that we could just go to the theater and use them. But the lady at the counter said, nope, you can't, you've got to go on Fandango and do them. And she talked with the manager and she was really nice and everything about it. But we are deciding to go eat at Olive Garden instead so that we can use those. We got $20 in free. $25 to the movie, or 25 for the movies and 25 for Olive Garden. But we got $20 specifically to Civil War. Oh, right, right. So, so we want to use those and, and not get in. But we're like to the point where like the movie starts in four minutes and we're those people that want to see some of the preview because we don't get to go to the movie theater all the time. Like so never. <laughs> yeah, so like we want the full experience if we're going to go. So we're going to go to the movies tomorrow. Maybe. Well, we're going to really try, right? We're going to try. Yeah. It's going to be this week. Yeah. So we'll take you guys along with us when we go to the movie theater another day. But today, Olive Garden. Okay, so we're driving along, trying to get to Olive Garden, and you see all these, like, stores that, you know, you know what they are? I want to know, what in the world is Warhammer? So maybe we'll go check that out after Olive Garden, huh? <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you think you buy at Warhammer? Or what is it? Like, is Do you think it's like, of... uh, like, you know, they have a World of Warcraft and stuff? That's the only thing you can think of. It's, it's like a World of Warcraft type of thing. Like, maybe it's, I don't know, like... Do you go in there and like buy your fantasy game stuff? Like someone that like wants to do Dungeons and Dragons, they buy all the little characters for it and stuff like that? Is that what you do? I have no idea. Like the only other thing I can think of too is maybe it's like some like kitchen store 
And it's like this, I don't know, they're trying to be funny or cute, like man it up or something like that and just like make a more manly kitchen store. And so like they have the meat tenderizer and they call it Warhammer. I don't know, I have no clue. Maybe it's a fitness thing. A fitness thing? Like what know. would you do for Warhammer for fitness? I have no idea. <laughs> it's time to go to the Garden of Olives. Olive Garden. Okay, so Margie just looked up Warhammer on her phone. Tell us about it. It says, Citadel Miniatures, your official games workshop store right here in Knoxville under the new banner of Warhammer. We make the best miniatures in the hobby and sell them for you to build, paint, collect, and game with. So, I was kind of right. Yeah. Huh. Maybe I'll we'll have to go check it out later. It's closed right now. Oh, it's closed. Why is it closed? Because it doesn't open until noon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that makes sense. Do you think it's like a bunch of college kids that run at them? And they stay up? How late does it stay open until like 3 in the morning? No, 7 p.m. Really? So here's the question. What did we order? Did we get chicken and cheese piadina? Or did we get Mediterranean flatbread? So here is the Mediterranean flatbread. And I've already taken actually a bite of it. It was actually really, really good. You can taste, they said if you don't like olives, don't get it. And they were right, because there's a lot of olive in this. It's the base of it, but it's so good. A lot of artichoke, a lot of olive, if you like that. And what did you get? The, you have the chicken. Chicken cheese piadini. How'd it taste? Really good. What did, what did you notice of it? Obviously cheese in it. Yeah, cheese, spinach, and chicken. And a marinara. So what's it taste like? Besides warm and soft. Does it remind you of kittens on a warm, sunny day? I don't think I'd want to eat kittens on a warm, sunny day. Ew. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> they look good though. Yeah. So we're like, we're leaving Olive Garden, and we had, it wasn't our server, although she did a great job. It was, what, what is it, the hostess? Is that what they call it? The person that seats you when you first go in? She was like, well, the hostess is usually the one standing that takes well, your, like, she was nice too. She was nice too, but here's the, the, the lady that got us our seats. She like, she was this awesome African American woman. And we were just talking about how like, I don't know how else to say, like her personality was just emanating from her where it was just like, what were you saying? Like, said, like one of those people that like you see and you're like, I just want to know this person. Like, they just seem like someone you'd like to spend time with. Like... Like, and she didn't even, like, talk with us, really. Like, I got, I went in there, and right away, like, because the, the hostess was like, okay, go down to her, because she'll get you, like, your seats. And so I just was joking, and I went up to her and said, I hear you're the lady we got to see about chairs, huh? Like, some great chairs or something like that. And she, like, was like, yes, sir. And she just, like, I don't know. Like, but then after that, she was just kind of fun. And then we just left, and she was like, like, she wasn't saying goodbye, I don't think, to everyone, but to us, she was like, hey, bye, guys! And it was just, I don't know. She was fun. It was just, it's fun to meet nice, fun people like that, but just, you want to get to know them more. It was good times. Olive Garden was good. What was your favorite? Mediterranean bread? Or did you like the chicken and whatever? Piedini. 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 It's a tough call, because they were very different. You definitely Frontier. had, you had to like olives. Yes. For the Mediterranean bread. Really, really liked it. It was Very good. Very flavorful. If light. you don't like artichoke and olive though, forget it. Don't do it. Yeah. Um, the other one was really, I thought it was heavier on my stomach because it was the, the cheese in it. Um, it was almost like, what are those pizza things where you like, they're like the crust is all the way around. The calzone? Yeah, a calzone. It was almost like a, a calzone with just like a thin flat bread around it, which is fine. I don't think fine. you have a stop sign, here. Oh, well, they're <laughs> going. But it was like, I don't know. It was, and then how much, we did the lunch special, so it was like $7.99 for both of our meals. So it wasn't bad, and someone gave us a $25 gift card, so. Totally took care of it. Totally took care of it, tipping everything we ate for free. And now, what are we doing? Oh, we're going to go to Target because we have a gift card. <laughs> well, but what are you looking for, though? Why are we going to Target? My sunglasses broke. So we're going to go find you some new sunglasses and use 
was the other gift card that we were given. I'm like, my eyes, like, you're just really sensitive to light, so, like, even on a cloudy day, I will my sunglasses. All right, well, here we are at Target, so let's go find some sunglasses. Woohoo! Roll over. Come. He's not very open. Not very obedient at all. Look, he's just staying. He's like stone cold. Margie's looking all posh in her sunglasses. They match her hair. It's exciting. So heading back to the house now. And we got some other stuff. I don't know if anyone else, we go through the clearance areas and then we set stuff aside for Christmas for our kids. So um, one other thing, I can't pull it out because I'm walking and talking at the same time, but we got, uh, found these lightsaber looking things for three bucks that we got for our youngest and we'll hold it back for Christmas for him. And now he can't watch this video, <laughs> otherwise he'll know. But um, yeah, do you guys do anything like that? Do you do stuff so that you have stuff for your kiddos at a cheaper price for Christmas? We want to know what you do because we shop the clearance sections at Walmart and Target and any store really, just so that we can find cheaper deals on stuff and let me see if I can actually show you some other stuff that we found and we do like lots of stocking stuffer stuff and I don't know if this is gonna be a stocking stuffer or summer project but it was a dollar and it's crystal growing kit we got four of those that might end up being like a, a thing for the summer but here's the little lightsaber things they're just it's a generic brand but it was three bucks and it's got oh that one doesn't work Oh. Does it have batteries? Yeah, we have to put new batteries in it. Oh, that stinks. But we got this one. And it does work, it lights up. Battle sounds. And we found a fun little sticker play set for a buck. So our youngest is still young enough that he'll enjoy those things and it'll be fun Christmas stuff. Whoops fun Christmas stuff for him and it's not a lot but it'll make his day and make him feel special and that's the goal for Christmas. So we just had dinner and now we're donning the dad and the brother hats and we're going to see Jasmine in a concert she's doing with her other classmates. Doing? Oh, we're finding hidden pictures, right? Hidden pictures? Yeah. Hidden. So how does it work? So you try to find the hidden pictures with the colored pencil. You see, like the mar, mar uh, mallet. 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 You got it. You would have to find them. Does anyone see the mallet? Let me get over here. Hmm. I see a carrot. The mallet. Let's see if we see the mallet. Oh, I see the mallet. I see the spoon. It was over there by Dalton's hand. Does anyone else see it? Here. It's right there with the shovel. Right here? We found the mallet. Do we have to like sing a Dora song now? Right. Do, 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 do. We did it. We did it. We did it. It's right here. Right here. Okay, story time. Story time was stopped. <laughs> I could hear all the way across the house laughing and giggling. Because they're reading what? We're reading Naked Morat Gets Dressed by Wo Mo Willems, who is one of the all-time best children's authors ever. They're in, they invented the pigeon book. The pigeon books. And look who's on the shirt. <laughs> it's a it's pigeon. It's a pigeon. It's the pigeon. We've had this for like, I don't know how many years. I and mean, we've just now noticed that. Because it's, it's on the the end page. Kind of like, by that point, you're kind of like, oh, it's the end page. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Hi! That's it for the day. Matthew and I went off to the gym and we did some weights and had some fun and looks like everyone else is getting ready for bed. So that's it for us today. Hopefully we'll get to go to the movie tomorrow or Wednesday and other than that we had it was a pretty good day. Kind of crazy but not too bad. We got to hang out with the kids and everything else. So 
Hope you had fun with us today and hope you, it helped you to nurture and grow your foster adoptive family.